Okay, so um, when we traveled to Bondo a month ago, our shamba was very healthy. And this is our farmer right here. This is our farmer. Hey, Wana Jikaza. You know, with these long nails, she still does the shamba work very, very professionally. Na kona makucha marefu, marefu Kabisa. But she does a very good job. Kucha ni urembo tu. Lazima tule, tulime, tufanyi kazi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um yeah, like I was saying, when you travel, this chamber was very very uh productive. I hope that's the correct word to use. Tulikuwa tumepanda mto, we had um osuga, osuga, tumasoma inaitwaje? Managu and um kunde, some tomatoes here. I'll show you. I'll show you. And dania. Hey. We had planted some dani and they were doing very well. But when we came back, we to our flowers. And we also had planted some spring onions. I love spring onions so much. In the one-stop shamba, like you get everything that you need. Well, did you know that there are some weeds that are classified as indigenous vegetables that make very scrumptious meals? If you didn't know, then stick till the end of this video to find out more. Because we are going to show you this vegetable and we're going I'm, I'm also going to show you how i prepare it so from plucking it from the shamba is it plucking or okay from kuchuna kwa shamba to how i'm going to prepare it to become a very scrumptious meal and my babies love this meal very very much now let's explore Throw down my baby. Don't throw. What is that, Adora? Okay, so now we are at the point of Kudondo. Uh, Kudondo required it. Removing the leaves from the stem. I don't know the English about word. the flowers. Yes. So you just remove the, the leaves. <coughs> like this. Yes, so. Good. Very good. Well, so now we are done. The most annoying thing that you come out with uh, from the shamba are these. Hey, black jacks. So this is uh, some other work for us to do. So. Eight hours later. I forgot to mention, Atifa goes very well with Miranda and I forgot to pluck some, so come, let's go. So, we have some Miranda here. Okay, though it's just one, but I bought some, I have some. So this one, I'm going to pluck them. So apart from the other shamba at the back, we still have another small, hey, this, this is a shamba, a small garden right here in front where we've planted some indigenous vegetables. So as you can see, we have a lot variety. And we have terere, a lot. terere, a lot, a lot is a lot, a lot is vegetables in, in Luo. So you have terere, amaranth, yes, and uh, um, mrenda. Then, surprisingly enough, we noticed some cherry tomatoes, also known as wild tomatoes, growing. And as you can see, they're really doing very, very well. 
they're doing very well by the way we came back and we found them doing very very well so we have white tomatoes and we also have lawyers call this seveve right mm. uh they are pumpkin leaves and if we can follow this carrot we call it a uh, not saga mm -mm. So, mm, hey, 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 this one's keep disappearing. It starts with an S. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell you later. So, if you follow this, we have mm -hmm. a pumpkin right here, and it's so humongous. Hey, here, up, here, up, we cut out the whole family for a week. This is so big. And I, I love when I'm preparing my baby's food, I love using pumpkin because it's a good vegetable. And maybe when I want to cook for them, uh, sometimes I cook for them uh, potatoes and I mix with uh, pumpkin leaves and it's a very good meal. And we also have rosemary. Yay! Hey, this small garden is doing really well. And hmm, last but not the least, we also have lemon, but right now it's not a, a lemon season. That's why you can't spot. It's hard to spot them. But if you are keen enough, you can spot some two lemons growing up there. And on the farthest end, we have avocado. <laughs> we have a lot right here. Yeah, so that's it. Um, so I'm going to use uh, spring onions together with the bulb onion to prepare my atipa and we have a few uh, in the shamba so I'm going to, to show you here yeah we have some here and here and we also got some danias here very fresh very fresh than yes. And you get you, when you get them straight from the shamba and you prepare them even with kachumbari, they're very tasty. So let's head over to the kitchen and prepare a tipa. You know my babies are hungry by now and they need to eat. So let's go. So this is a mixture of a tipa and umrenda inside here. So you have to wash them really clean because remember they are rich and some have um, lots of soil in them. So you have to wash them very clean. So I have everything ready, fresh atipa and render. I have uh, chopped my spring onions, the red onions. Then I have very interesting thing right here. These are not spices. These are merenda that have been sun dried and uh, crushed. So I'm going to add them when I'm cooking because the ones that I had, they weren't enough. So I had to use these ones that are dried and uh, crushed. And I have one tomato that is uh, grated. Then salt to taste, of course. Then milk and cooking oil. That's it. So let's get right into it. So if you're new here, you're welcome to this channel. And thank you so much for stopping by. So I'll add my tomato, grated tomato. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. So these are some red mirenda like I said before. So I'm going to add them at this point after my tomatoes then. The mirenda will go in. 
So what Mrenda does is that it, when you're cooking this uh, indigenous or Kenyeji vegetables, it makes them, should I say slimy? Nigerians and Indians use okra, which actually acts as, does the same job. Yeah, so use marinda, you can use it, the dried ones or fresh ones, but I prefer the fresh ones. So I've used both the dried, sun dried ones and the fresh ones. So at this point, when you have to do, so to do is actually, um, you see beans, when you harvest beans, then you remove the beans from the pods, then you get the pods and you burn them into ashes. Then you take the ash, you mix it with water, and you sieve it. Then the residue, is it the residue? I think so. Is what we call to do. So at this point, I add my veggies. They are so green. So green, so clean, and fresh. So green, so clean, so fresh. So you will notice uh, this is a slippery texture. Texture, yeah. to add some water so that's all it is enough hmm doesn't it look yummy okay now I'm going to cover that for like 10 minutes at this point again we add our, we add our milk yeah it looks really nice Smells really nice. Remember, I used some spring onions, and you know, spring onions have very good aroma. From here, I'm going to cover it for another 10 minutes, then our achipa will be ready. Okay, so let's check if our achipa is ready. Wow, look at that! Wow, look at that. Looks so nice. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cook ugali. Definitely, I'm going to serve this atipa with ugali. It goes really well with ugali. So, I'm going to cook ugali. And, we're going to serve and you see the outcome. Our water has boiled. So, I'm going to cook the ugali. And, I'm going to use locally processed unga. Okay. So, and it's... Uh, Oh, it's, it's yellow, yellow unga. Nyamula. Like In Lua, we call it nyamula. Ugali is ready. So, as the farmer and as the cook, we are going to take this chance to taste the food first before we serve our little mochkins. But this farmer here did. Uh, Plant I didn't plant the atipa and wheat as we said before, but kudos to you, farmer. So, uh, but they grew on my farm. farm. Mm. <laughs> so, they cooked it. I can't eat it. 
Hello, my name is Mama. Mama, best love. Mama, best love. Mama, best love. Mama, best love. It's my best, by the way, my my best vegetable, as in ya kenyaji. It's my best. It is very sweet. Mama, that's a Mama, that's a Yes, ma'am. Wait. Who does? The cook? Definitely. It's always a good job. That's why my, my babies love this mocha so much. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you've explored together and you've learned a thing or two about indigenous vegetables, especially atipa, which is, I know, a new term to so many of you. And now it's time for my babies to enjoy their food. So if you haven't liked, if you haven't commented, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And thank you so much for, yeah, for just keeping it kid safe with a Pondi Eve. So uh, it's time for my babies to enjoy this scrumptious healthy meal. Till next time. Bye-bye.